What do you say? Well, I think it's a bad idea, a very bad idea, but I'm not going to say it'll cause a, a recession. Uh, anytime you start playing around with retaliatory type trade things, it's very, very likely you're going to have it. The other side's going to play too. I mean, that's been, been the history. Uh, the problem for trade, and this is why you need what I would call an instructor in chief as, as president, because uh, you cannot blame anybody that lost their job because uh, industry, their industry moved abroad because there was a comparative advantage with some other country. You can't expect any of them to, to say, ah, I'm, what, I'm for free trade because it, it helps the society as a whole. It does help the society as a whole, but the benefits are very diffuse. You know, I may buy the socks I have, <laughs> the underwear I have, a few cents cheaper because of the comparative advantage of some other country in producing it. But I don't get down every, every time I go to Walmart and buy them, I don't say, oh, thank God for free trade. Does it worry you then to hear Donald Trump say he will scrap NAFTA, which he'll have the power to do as president? Well, we'll see what happens. I, uh, it is true there will be, a, that with the Republicans in control of the Senate and the House. You, you don't will. think he'll do it? Well, I, I, you know, he has, to, he has to get the House and Senate. <laughs> he has to get support on it. There will be a lot of, and this is not true, this is not exclusive to Donald Trump. There are a lot of things said in campaigns that don't happen. Uh,